Welcome to Anywhere Math. I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to be dividing mixed numbers. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started with example one. Two and one fourth divided by three eighths. Now, dividing with mixed numbers is not a whole lot different than dividing with fractions. Uh, we already have multiplied with mixed numbers. Uh, and if you remember, the first step we did with that is to get rid of the mixed numbers. Mixed numbers are kind of hard to deal with. So our first step is just to make that an improper fraction. So two and one fourth becomes well, four times two is eight, plus one is nine, becomes nine fourths divided by three eighths. We've already done dividing with fractions, and if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and watch that. Uh, a simple way to remember what to do is keep, change, flip. Dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So this nine fourths, that stays nine fourths. I change. Right, keep that, change the sign to multiplication, and I flip that 3 eighths to the reciprocal, which is 8 thirds. And then it's pretty simple, right? Always try to simplify before you multiply. That 4 becomes a 1, 8 becomes a 2, that becomes a 1, that becomes a 3. Multiply straight across, and I get 6 over 1, which is 6. Okay, let's try another example. Okay, example two, three and five sixths divided by one and two thirds. So now we're dividing with two mixed numbers. Approach it the same way. I don't want to deal with these mixed numbers, so my first step is to make them improper fractions. Three and five sixths, well, six times three is 18, plus five is 23, so that becomes 23 six divided by... Uh, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, that becomes 5 thirds. Okay. Now, keep change flip. Remember, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplied by its reciprocal, so two, 23 over 6 times 3 fifths. Now, always try to simplify before I multiply. That 3 becomes a 1, the 6 becomes a 2, nothing there. So I'm going to multiply straight across, and I get 23 over 10. Now, at this point, I've got a mix, or sorry, I've got an improper fraction. I want to change that back to a mixed number. So 10 goes into 23 two whole times, and 10 times 2 is 20. So I'm going to have 3 tenths left over. And that is my final answer. Three and five sixths divided by one and two thirds is two and three tenths. Here's some to try on your own. All right, example three. Evaluate five and a fourth divided by one and one eighth minus two thirds. So this is a little bit more complicated because it's not just division. We also have, we're subtracting a fraction at the end. So we have to remember our orders of operations. And with division and subtraction, division is going to come first. So I got to do this part. And then at the end, I'm going to subtract two thirds. So again, first step, let's get rid of these mixed numbers and let's make them improper fractions. Five and a fourth becomes 21 fourths divided by 1 and 1 eighth will become 9 eighths, and then still have the minus 2 thirds there. Now dividing by a fraction, same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal, keep 21 fourths, change to multiplication, and flip that to 8 ninths minus 2 thirds is still there. Let's simplify before we multiply, becomes 1 that becomes 2. 21 and 9 have a common factor of 3. So that's going to become 7. And that's going to become 3. And that's all I can do there. So let's multiply those before we do my subtraction. 7 times 2 is 14 over 1 times 3 is 3 minus 2 thirds. 
Now I'm not going to change this fraction to back to a, a mixed number because I still have to subtract. And right now it's really nice because they both have a common denominator of 3. So 14 thirds minus 2 thirds, I can subtract that right now. That becomes 12 thirds, which is 4. Okay? Here's some to try on your own. As always, thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.